Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how I edit my reels. And it's only fair that I come to you guys with all of my new tricks and tips. I'm going to be going over sound effects, music that I use, and animations, effects, and even some coding. So stick around for this video. It's going to be amazing. But guys, if you want to know how to edit faster in DaVinci Resolve, click the first link in the description and you will find all of my editing packs, like the entire store bundle and the starter pack bundle, which will literally kickstart your journey as a video editor with premium assets that I use in all my videos. And guys, let me let you in on a little secret. I am taking two more mentor clients this month. So if you wanna get mentored by me personally and get one-to-one -one calls with me and fast track your way and your success, then go ahead and hit the second link in the description. But now that all of those promotions are out of the way, now we can finally get into the sauce. I promise that'll be the last time I mention any of these promotions, but guys, let's hop into the video right now. All right guys, so I have about 10 seconds of this video done already and I think it's only fair that I just show you guys exactly how I'm gonna be editing the rest of this reel. Um, so first things first, what I decided to do, I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate all of these right here because I don't need those right now. But essentially what I have is I just cut my footage up right here and what I have right here is called an adjustment clip and simply if we go ahead and play this frame by frame. As a, a video editor. You can see that it literally just kind of zooms out like this. <laughs> and then it's a smooth zoom out. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I was able to do that zoom out. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna disable this and show you guys how to do this. So we're gonna grab an adjustment clip and we're gonna make it about, let's see, we're gonna make it 50 frames long, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Fusion page with that adjustment clip and we're gonna hit Shift Space for a transform node. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in uh, to about 1.8 and we're gonna go ahead and hit a keyframe. And then what we're gonna essentially do is go to the end of this and then hit one. So that way it is basically essentially just video. zooming out the whole time, right? So now we're gonna hit zoom to fit and go ahead and hit command A and double click and go to ease and use out cubic. As a video so now it just very as smoothly, a video, as a literally just animation smooth it out, right? So let me do, let you know on another little secret. We're gonna go to settings under the transform and we're gonna hit use motion blur. We're gonna do the motion blur at four. That way it keeps it very, as a video very, as a video. very subtle. You know, if you want to, you can crank that bad boy up to six. As a video. And now, now you're good, okay? So now what we're gonna do is since I have this as a preset, I'm gonna go to my power bends and to make sure your power bends are selected, we're gonna hit three lines and go to show power bends right here. And essentially what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create a bend that has going to be effects that I'm just gonna create all the time. So for my example, I have all my effects right here that I just have saved. So for this one, I'm literally just gonna drag and drop it into this bin. And now I have this effect saved that I can just re-drag and drop into the bottom. And I could use this on each and every single video that I do, which is what I did for this one right here. Perfect, so now that that is out of the way, you know how to kind of do the presets and stuff like that. I'm gonna go over this little cool text animation. 2500 per month that I did right there. So 2,500. Yes, guys, this text animation is going to be advanced, but just stick with me while I show you guys how to do this. So first things first is we have a zoom. So very similar to how you guys saw this zoom, we have a zoom where it kind of zooms in right here over top of my whole clip and then it zooms out. Okay, so we're gonna just disable that for now. I'm just gonna basically recreate this. So I'm just, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disable to show you guys that I can recreate this from scratch. So we're gonna go over to generators and we're gonna scroll down until we see the solid color, as long as you want your clip to be. So when I say 2,500. 2,500 per month. Okay, I want it to be that long till the next clip. So I'm just gonna make it this long, okay? So we're gonna make it about yay long, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and go to titles and we're gonna grab what's called a text plus. Boom, so now we have a text plus. So we're gonna put this into the timeline just like so. And we're gonna make this one also just as big right there, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we need a good font. So we're gonna for worry about all of that in the Fusion page. We're just gonna disable that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this color to a white and we're just gonna hit okay. Now re-enable the text plus and by hitting just D and we're just gonna go into the Fusion page and it'll obviously only be the text plus. So pay attention because on this template one, I'm gonna double click and go ahead and create a new control. So we're gonna edit the new controls. I'm gonna do a new control and I'm gonna have to type it out just like this. It has to be case sensitive, just like that. Make sure you capitalize the C and make sure you spell it right, okay? So we're gonna leave that, we're gonna leave this the same and then we're just gonna go ahead and hit text and we're gonna do the range from however much you want. So for my case, it's gonna be 2,500 because that's what I say, right? So we're gonna do 2,500. Then we're gonna hit slider control and then we're just gonna leave everything else the same and go ahead and hit okay. Now using the bottom of the description, there is going to be a coding that you're going to paste and I'm gonna go ahead, just go ahead and go to the bottom of the link and copy the code. And once you have that code copied, we're gonna hit the 
uh, double click into this text box right here and we're gonna go ahead and make an expression, okay? Now we're gonna copy that text code in the expression. So once you have that expression, it is going to be just a zero, right? And what I did was I just changed the color to a nice dull color that'll clash with the white. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to have the counter, as you can see, this is what we created. This is what the control that we created right here, a counter, okay? And what we're gonna essentially do is we are going to hit a keyframe when it's on zero and go to 70 frames. In my case, it's going to be 70 frames, or we can do 75, totally up to you. And we're just gonna turn it all the way up. That way it's at 2,500. So now if we play it through, we have a 2,500 counter, just like so. Now what I want you to do is go to the settings and apply motion blur and make sure the quality is on two. And now we're gonna go ahead and smooth this animation out by doing something called spline. So we're gonna go to the spline, we're gonna hit Command A and zoom to fit. And we're gonna go ahead and double click and hit ease and get out cubic. So now if we play this, it slows down just like that and you can tell that this is a nice smooth animation. And you can kind of play around with these controls just like that and you know, you can make it really fast and then go slower or you know, you could do the exact opposite. You know, whatever it is, there's so many things that you could do and mess with the controls. You make it really fast and then go really slow at the end. Whatever it is, right? But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go about five frames behind and we're gonna hit shift space for a transform node and we're gonna go ahead and hit the size and we're just gonna go about 15 frames forward and we're just gonna zoom this bad boy in. And we're gonna hit zoom to fit and unselect the template, hit zoom to fit again. And then we're gonna hit command A, double click and go to ease and then do out cubic. So that way now you have that as the animation. So boom, and that's when it kind of stops just like so, okay? Now for that one, we're gonna also select motion blur and go to about quality of five. And also guys, I had someone mention in my comments that I go way too fast. So if I am moving too fast, then let me know down in the comments and I will start to slow all of this down. Yeah guys, so essentially now what we have- 2500 per month. Now we have this animation, okay? Per month. Just like that. Now, if you go ahead and add the magic zoom in, it makes it look even better. So once it starts to zoom in- 2500 per month. Okay, it's very subtle, but as it's zooming in on me, it'll also start to zoom in on the picture as well, just like so. So that's exactly how you are going to now do that animation. And now we're gonna move on to this fire tech sequence that I had created, and this is what it looks like. For at least a good three to four months. But here so this tech sequence is very easy. I'm literally just going to completely delete this tech sequence. For so right when I say four, we're gonna go ahead and grab a text plus, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna end this on like the end of the clip, of course. And essentially, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a text font that works for me. So I'm gonna hit font, and I personally really, really like this clash variable display. And I just think the clash variable display just really hits home for me. And I'm gonna go down to the drop down menu and you have all of these different options. And keep in mind, this is a free font too. So then I'm gonna go ahead and hit bold and I'm gonna size this bad boy up to about right there. And all I'm gonna simply do is just say four because that's my first uh, question or that's my first whatever I say. Right now, honestly, from here moving forward, I'm gonna be able to show you the techniques that I use. But to be honest, if you don't have an eye for this, then it's not gonna necessarily work out. So you have to have an eye on where things move and where things can go and et cetera, right? So for four, it's gonna look good right here because I have a vision. So now I'm gonna hold option and I'm just gonna scroll up with my D-pad. And that's just gonna essentially just create another uh, text for me. So that way I don't have to redo everything all over, grab another text plus, et cetera, right? So then I say at least, so we're gonna capitalize the at and the least. And we're just gonna bring that like like we're messing with the center X and Y controls, we're gonna bring that like right under, like right there, okay? So then we're gonna hold option again and scroll up and then I say- For at least a good, good. Then I say three to four. So I'm gonna do three to four, just like so. And I personally really like this 911 Porsche look. So this is what my three to four looks like. Once again, you just have to have an eye for these types of things, like I said. So I'm gonna put this one on the tip just like this. And then I'm not gonna hold option on this one because it has the 911 text font, but I'm gonna hold option on the at least. I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna create another one. And I'm gonna do months, just like so. For this one, I think I'm gonna do Gotham Ultra as the text title. And you're gonna find that I do this one a lot different, okay? So first things first is I'm just gonna leave this right here. And what we're gonna do is deactivate the magic zoom. And that's what the magic zoom does. That's like the difference it does, right? So just showing you guys the difference, but I'm gonna go into the fusion page of this month's, okay? 
Now under the template, stay with me here, we're gonna go to the text, right? And just as if we were to create an expression, we're gonna double click and hit character level styling. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna open up the modifier tab. So then that way when we're able to go over to the modifier tab, now we have a lot more selections we're able to make. So now if I wanna just highlight this M, I can go ahead and literally just size up on this M just like so. And that's exactly what I wanna do. That's all I wanna do is just that. So now I'm gonna go back to the edit page. You guys could see exactly what I'm kind of, kind of working on here, right? So then what the next step I'm gonna do is I'm going to just simply size this down just a little bit like so, just like that. So that way it fits when it's on the magic zoom, just like that. And honestly, if you want, what we can do is try clash variable display. Um, and we can try like, you know, maybe a bold, maybe a semi bold, we could try different things. We can even try railway. Um, just trying different faults, it, it always it works and helps in the long run. So then all I'm gonna do is keep that right there. And I'm actually gonna probably mess with the, the three to four months and put it like right there in the middle. And then with this three to four months, I'm gonna take that previous color that we had right here. And by doing that, I'm literally just gonna hold option and bring another copy of that up here. So that, that way we have that color. And now I'm gonna go to here, and I'm gonna go to text, I'm gonna go to color, I'm gonna hit the picker, and I'm going to simply just snag this color right here. So now it's the same color, and we could just delete that, right? So, so or at least. now to be honest, I'm not really liking how small this is looking, so I'm gonna deactivate this and go back into here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight it all at once and kind of just scale it up and go to the modifiers and do that as well. So I'm gonna do the O, oh, the, the months, and then for the M, once again, I'm just gonna make that bad boy bigger, just like so. And then if we go back to the tools, we can actually just mess with the layout, like right here. So we could just mess with the layout, probably look best like this. So if we re-enable the magic zoom, now we can really mess with what we're, we're working with here. So go to the layout, just like so. Okay, that looks pretty decent, not gonna lie, but yeah, I don't. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna just move the 9-11 or the three to four uh, months, and I'm just going to make it a little bigger and probably just put it like right here. So that that's the text sequence we're gonna do. Now we have to animate it. Okay, that's that. We're not done. So I'm gonna deactivate this magic zoom, and I'm gonna go for right, at least. At least. It's good. It's good. It's good. So then I say three, three to four. Three to four. Months just like that, and that's how you do that. So, at least three to four, at least four, at least three to four months. And for a caption like this, you don't need to add a good, right? That's just so pointless. So, now stay with me. So, for this four, we're going to go into the fusion page and we're going to do a simple, smooth animation. And this is a sequence I really like to do. So, we're going to hit shift space for a transform, and we're going to go ahead and add that transform in. And I'm going to go to the center and I'm going to go left. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm gonna hit a keyframe and go 15 frames forward, that's it, and go back to 0 0.5 on the center. And you should always have your spline open, just personally I like it as well. And we're gonna do the same sequence, guys. Zoom to fit, Command A, double clicking with your mouse and going to ease and going to out cubic. Now get used to that motion because that's something we're gonna be doing pretty often, okay? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the Fusion page, I forgot something. So we're gonna go to the template, and we're gonna go ahead and hit shading, and we're gonna go to the opacity and turn it down, right? And we're gonna hit a keyframe and go one, two, three, four, five. That's it, and then turn it back up. And we don't need to smooth that one out. So now if you look at it, that we have that smooth animation. And if we really want to, I would advise just hitting some motion blur and turn that quality all the way up. Maybe even honestly turning the shutter angle all the way up. And the sample spread just a little bit. Okay, so now. And then for at least, we're gonna do something a bit similar but different. So once again, hitting that transform and we're gonna go up this time. So I'm gonna scroll down, go up. We're gonna go to right here. We're gonna go to 0 0.5, settings, motion blur, quality, shutter angle, zoom to fit, command A, double click, ease, out cubic. Like I said, it's a very tricky, like, scenario but if you get used to it you'll get really good at it so. so now for this one i'm gonna do something pretty different i'm gonna hit a compound clip i'm gonna create a compound clip and i'm gonna go to cropping methods so i say at least so for this one i'm just gonna go to right cropping 
and I'm just gonna make it say at. So that, or that at way. At least, a, or at least. See, just like that. So. At least a good. Then for this one, we're gonna do an exaggerated zoom. So we're gonna hit transform. Okay, add that bad boy in. We're gonna push this one like so, hit a keyframe. And this time we're gonna go, we're gonna do more keyframes. We're gonna do like a lot more keyframes. We're gonna do like 10 more keyframes than we usually do. And motion blur, once again, guys, same old stuff. Command A, double click, ease out cubic. Now let's check that animation. Okay, then for this one, we're gonna do something very similar to that as well. So transform. Months we're going to take down just a little bit more and we're going to keyframe and go throughout the whole clip and then go to 0 0.5 settings motion blur quality shutter angle zoom to fit command a double click ease out cubic I know guys it sounds crazy, but it's really not that hard so for, for at least a good three to four months Okay, cool now what we're going to do is we're going to hit a compound clip on the rest of these and Go ahead and do that just like so and we're going to do the opacity trick. So one, two, three, four, five, boom, turn down, one, two, three, four, five, turn up. Then we're going to go into the fusion page with this months and I'm going to do more motion blur. So we're going to add this motion blur in there just like so. And we're going to turn the motion blur up just like that. Okay. So now it's a good three to four months, but here, here is it for months. Good, or at least a good three to four. So now if we pair that up with this. On a money for at least a good three to four months. But, but here it. Okay guys, so now that you have that animation done with, you can make it look, you can make it look a lot better, honestly, by you know doing more text sequences. And go check out my past content if you want it to look 10 times better than it does. But that's just what we're working with now. But anyway, so then what I did was I went on a website called splice.com. I'm giving you guys the pure sauce right now. You need to go to splice.com and you're going to create a free account and you're going to buy credits. Yes, you're going to buy credits. This is not sponsored at all, by the way, but you're going to go ahead and buy these credits. Go back to the DaVinci Resolve and you are going to find the most premium assets here, like no joke. So I have this loop here that I found. So if we solo this, as a video, we can play this loop. You can see that it just fits the vibe for the whole thing, right? Then we found this crank sound effect right here, which is actually in my packs. So this crank sound effect is in my packs that I just made. And then we have this, this uh, flicker effect. So we have this flicker just like that. And I added this sound effect right here. So just like that. That's also in the pack as well if you guys wanna go check that out and whatnot. But guys, thank you for watching this video. And that is going to be it. That is my whole workflow of 2025 so far. And I'm gonna be updating you guys with how I edit in all of my future videos. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, etc. And if this is your first time watching my channel, the best thing you can do to help me right now is like this video and go comment something positive and also leave a subscribe. If that's the least you guys can do, if you guys wanna do a little more, you can go get my packs or apply for the mentorship, etc. But guys, that is going to be it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.